I don't even know what's going on in the world, but we're okay. All right, let me adjust this. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Sorry for no stream last night. I was super busy with family stuff. And uh, there's just no time to stream. But today, we're going to get in a few hours. I'm hoping for a two to three hour stream. Uh, let's see. We've got a game today against Sheffield United. Oh, we've got the rough part of our schedule coming up. That's right. Sixth and second. It's really going to test us. And then we get a little bit of a break. But then we have Everton and I think December. Yeah, we have first, fifth, and fourth. And that could change before then. So it's kind of back and forth as time goes on. So we'll be fine. But uh, yeah, we'll get right to it. I did update the pictures of our youngsters. So they look a lot better now. my Bluetooth tower that just fell. That's nice. Which reminded me, I've not done the update for uh, some of these players um, from where I get my other pictures. These, these right here. There'll be an update to those. So I need to get that later. I usually do it before the stream, but I wanted to stream early today to get going. But anyways, we've got matches, so we'll get right into the first one. Sheffield United today, they are sixth in the table. If we go back and look where we're at in the world, we were knocked out of the third round by Millwall in the Carabao Cup. We're waiting for the Emirates uh, FA Cup to come up. Uh, we don't start that till January, so we still have two months. We are sitting pretty in third place right now on the table, trying to earn our way up to the Premier League. Do I think we're ready for that? Nope. Do I think we're going to try to try? Yes. My goal this year was to make the playoffs or better, and that's what we're pushing for. So let's get this set up and see what we've got going on in this match. Pulling Oko Flex out there. Now, is there a reason we're doing... I know that I'm mixing things up a little bit in this match. Probably because we have Southampton coming up in three days. I mean, for the most part, we do have a lone player in. We should be okay. We do need to put I feel like the sounds loud. Let me, let me go into the options and change that. This is taking forever to change the sound. We're in strong form. They're inconsistent, so hopefully we can slip through with the win today. But everybody want to see a better performance out of them, so let's go to the match preview. Head coach Tafon Corkut. He's got Mariki uh, Indayan, Fernandez, Evander, Burge, Mora, uh, Pizella, MacArthur, Basau. Uh, Jaden Bogle and then Augustin Rossi in goal. Stefan Martin is the referee today. It's 46 degrees. We are on the road. We do kind of have a mixed up lineup, so we'll see what happens. 22,500 in attendance for this championship tier match. Free kick for us. Colin, he's not made one of these since last year. He won't make another one. Ashby keeps it, puts it in. Watts puts it in. <laughs> And a very early goal for the Drakes. 
And it's already 1-0. Drake's lead, Sheffield United here. Off the colon, it went off the keeper, off the post. Harrison Ashby tried, blocked, and then Chris Watts with the easy putback. And we'll go up here in the first two minutes of the game. And you could not ask for a better start than that. Playing the ball really well. Oh, Harrison Ashby comes over there, takes it away up to Maddie Longstaff. Maddie Longstaff dribbling back to Ashby. Ashby, India Pan. India Pan, who's developed very well with us. Collage over to Curtis. Curtis pops it up. Longstaff, don't go flex it. He puts it in. And we've scored two. Oh, it's disallowed. Disappointed. And we were clearly offside there. That was Oko Flex. It did fall to him. We're still 1 0, unfortunate. We could have went up by two there really early on. Can't see her. Maddie Longstaff takes the corner. It's put in. They'll head it away. Mingo Valio. They'll send it over to Harrison Ashby. Ashby over to Cullen. Cullen dribbles in, pops it over, and it's knocked back out. Andia Pan will success. Ashby, Longstaff. Longstaff in the Watts. Off the post. I think he would have been offsides. So, action packed action here. The start of this one. See if the Drakes come through here, knock anything out. Any long staff, Pollock, Mingalvio, the Colin, Colin to Mingalvio. This is it up to Curtis, Sam Curtis. Looking. Curtis over the Halage. Halage to Mingalvio. Mingalvio the Longstaff. Maddie Longstaff dribbles around. Mingalvio. Halage. Curtis. Curtis looking. He'll bring it back. Good defense here by Sheffield United. We try to feed it in. Curtis recovers. Curtis the Longstaff. Oko Flex. He's going to take another shot and put it in. The first one was disallowed. He'll get that one. 2 0 Drake's lead here at Sheffield United. Great patient. Great ball movement there. Oko Flex puts it past the keeper. Hey, World War II fan. Hello there. How are you today? I hope you're having a good weekend. I'm very excited. The Drakes are playing well today to start out. I was a little nervous. We have knocked off the dust. They're coming out and playing well. Two nails. We roll into 25 minutes in the first half. Corner for us, Maddie Longstaff. Pops it up, hit it out, and Galvio will chase it down. we will feed it over to Harrison Ashby. Ashby takes a shot, and it's over top. Oh, kick. And beyond, and they're gonna get one back. Big strike in the 28th minute. 27th minute, excuse me. They go coast to coast. It looked like it bounced off Pollock's shoulder and Amy Cumming just lets it by. I just, I don't understand. Still up 2-1 here. Corner, let's see if we can get one back. Long staff. Oh, go flex and puts it in. It's Indy Pan. The header in. By the youngster, Will Andy Penn. Let's go 3-1 here in the first half. Oh, he got up for that one. Put it right past the keeper on the near post. Rondi, how are you doing today? Hello there. You have a good weekend? Now over to Boggle. 39th minute. Move it up. Beat it in. We'll hit it. It's back out. Chris Watts trying to get a break on. He'll try to send it up, but they'll intercept that. And they're on the break. Oh, and what a cluster there. And Mariki is going to get a goal and make it 3-2. And our defense today is just bumbling it around. That was off the back of his leg, and it fell to their player to get that goal. A 
That's the Dutch League. I think that's the Dutch League. My FIFA franchise, I say, signed Harry Cornick in the next match. He got injured. He's out for six months. Yeah, that sounds about right. Whenever I signed certain players, um, they would just always get injured. Wee Shi Hao, I signed him. He got injured. Uh, I want to say Cornick got injured for a little bit. And then there was another striker that I signed, and he got injured. All right, team looks happy, but I need the defensive side of it to start playing well. We're going to come out attacking here, see if we can put some big pressure on them. Throw in for them, though. The second minute. Beat it into the box. Oh, my God, how did they make that shot? Sheffield United has equalized here in the 52nd minute. Jamie Cumming, you're way better than that. Hey, Mad Martin. Hello there. Let me know how the game sound is on your all's end. It sounded loud to me. I turned it down a notch, but <clears throat> it may still be too loud. Encourage the team. Yeah, we need to make some changes. We, we just got some tired bodies out here. It could be a top five league. It is. It is a uh, Louisville City, a Lou City jersey. It just come in. I was very happy to get it. Got to support the team, support the locals. I wanted to get a uh, Lexington SC uh, uh, Lex Sporting Club, uh, but they didn't have jerseys at the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm really wanting to go see one of their games live. All right, let's make a couple of changes here. Clark, Lodge, movement here. Clark brings it back, Mingalvio. Mingalvio chips it up, Oko Flex! Oh, it's off the post! Oh, that would have been a brilliant header. We'll keep control of it. Forcing up the Ashby in the Chris Watts. Oko Flex. He tries to feed it in. We'll get control of it. Here's Clark. He'll lose that. Matty Pollock knocks it down. Halage in the Watts. It's back out. They're on the counter. We'll cut it off. Matty Pollock, free kick here. He'll go short to Halage. Back to Pollock. Pollock. And Galvio. Cut it off. We don't want to give the game up here, but they've got a break on Correra and coming will make the save. Let's 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 change some stuff up here. Um we'll bring Miles Laburn in. Corner kick, Harrison Ashby, Oko Flex over the crossbar. Ten minutes to play. For our last sub of the day. Mm. 
man more five minutes of extra time can we get a winner here it's been a game for ages both sides offense there no defense and it looks like this one's going to end in a draw we shot out early but they battled back and made a game of it we'll split the points unfortunate Team's okay with that though for some reason. Well, set in third. Goal difference with Southampton is different. I think we have them coming up though. So that's going to be a big game playing them. Sheffield United promotion bid takes a hit. Maddie Longstaff, two assists. Good job. Let's go to the press conference. Having held what seemed to be a comfortable lead, you must be disappointed to come away with only a draw from that match. That's soccer for you. It hurts to be on the wrong end of the results, but games like that are what makes sports great. You're expected to be among those scraping it out for survival, uh, but here you are uh, with a stunning start. Um, we've surprised even ourselves. Wow, that match was certainly exciting to watch. What did you make of it? It's always great for the fans when they get highlights. Your team failed to see out the game from a winning position. Uh, we could take positives from the game. Your players have a real eye for goal at the moment. It's been a long time since they failed to find a net. That must be confident. Uh, the side heading the game is knowing they can outscore any opponent. How much did Matty Longstaff's performance? I'm really happy for him. He does great. It's rumored that uh, Indian might be leaving. Uh, I don't want to comment on speculation. It's not even my player. Who cares? Matty Longstaff is going to be suspended. We do have second place Southampton. So big game of the week coming up here. Let's we'll see what's going to happen. Also need to get my big squad out ready to play. really wanted to change my players around before they went through everything but Alex Murphy Curtis Mombi uh, have been called up for Ireland under 21s Definitely not going to have, so we'll put Forsen in to start this game. Excuse me while I whip out the big squad. Now that I've said that, Southampton uh, demolish us. And the big squad will whimper off. Drake FC are up against it in their home encounter against Southampton. Good lord, okay. Southampton has evens odds. Wow. They've won seven straight league wins. Okay. I'll send my assistant. I don't feel like talking. All right. You got everybody motivated. Good job, Lewis Moore. This is a big match here. This is gonna this is gonna mean a lot. 
We've dropped down the fourth, so somebody must have jumped both of us. So instead of it being second versus third, it's now third versus fourth. The board thing we're going to lose. The fans think we're going to lose. Well, that's nice. Not what I wanted to do. What the crap? Why did that switch all that? Okay, so I've clicked on something and it totally changed my uh, my tactic for some reason. Okay, that, that switched back. So my mentality's all disappeared. Oh, great. This is going to be amazing. Well, we'll see what happens. With everything disappearing, who knows? They're strong, we're strong form. Tell everybody to make me proud. All right, it is 46 degrees. It is raining, it's breezy Tom Brommel is our official vincent company here bringing in southampton they've got go young june up front harrison carvalho and suarez pedro bravo not pablo uh bright hopped larios isdre uh bella Colchap, and ramsey gavin bazunu in goal we've got janelle bennett back out there Colin on the other side and hopefully our back line can play some good defense today we're in our greens and blues. They're in the whites with red and black accent. We are underway. Go a little positive here. We're controlling a lot of the ball. Go attack. Probably a mistake. We're controlling the match momentum. We're just not doing anything with it. Free kick for us. We've went 40 minutes without a highlight. Here we go, Janelle Bennett down the wing, pulls it back. Harrison Ashby cuts in. Back to Janelle Bennett. Janelle Bennett puts it in! And the Drakes will go up in the 41st minute. A heavily contested match here with Southampton and the Drakes strike first. Ashby Bennett playing a little one-on-one. -on -one. We will go in the locker room with a 1-0 lead. That was a great shot. They've got some tired fellas out here. We're starting to wear out, too. I'll probably have to pull the dogs back a little bit. Well, India Pants picked up a yellow. Over the top, here's Sam Curtis. He'll cut in, sends it in. Ramsey knocks it down. On the counterattack here. Will India Pan goes up and gets it. Harrison Ashby. Swing it over. Colin! Oh my God, I thought Colin was going to make that. He tried to Chuck Norris it from almost midfield.
picked up an injury, Carvalho. Uh, we need to make some changes. Um... Uh, put it on this. You know, Bennett's wore out too, but he's playing such a good game. 15 minutes. If we can hold this, this will be a big result. Watts is totally just wore out. Put a Mari Miller up there, why not? He's fast enough to go over the top. India Pan here, four minutes of extra time. Can we hold on? Doyle goes over the top. Here's Oko Flex, sets it back. Miller, oh! <laughs> How close can you get without scoring? Oh my lord! Doyle with an immaculate pass. Okoflex set him up. Miller. Oh. Oh. About three minutes. Can we hold on and defeat Southampton? This will be our biggest upset of the year. Let's go! A 1 0 win. Their striker had zero overall chances. That moves us up to second place in the table. One point behind Everton, one point above Oxford. I'm a little shocked. Strike from Janelle Bennett saw Drake FC move into the championship promotion places after a 1-0 victory over Southampton on a wet afternoon. I'll attend this press conference. Did the goal movements before the break prove, in your view, to be a pivotal moment? It was a crucial moment and turned the game in our favor. Southampton failed to register a single shot on target today. Is that a reflection of your complete dominance? I cannot appraise them enough for that. It's one of those few zilches and zeros. I'm very happy my team helped make reality today. Janelle Bennett is a joy to watch when he plays like that. How happy are you with this? He's quality and everyone knows that. Do you feel you've got the upper hand over Vincent Company when it comes to mind games now? Um, I'm more pleased for the players. How come you've set on your current tactical? This is what I know. You all made fun of my tactic last year, so I had to change it. Try right, Mad Martin. We could throw up the do deuces. That's where we're at. Do, 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 do. All right, let's attend this terrible monthly staff meeting. Tommy Doyle should be a penalty taker. Yes, he should. My uh, nephew has sent me a video. It's probably him playing golf. Let's see what we got here. Nope, he's just partying on Derby Day. I forgot it's Derby Day, so everybody's probably throwing a fit out there. Uh, let's see. Um, no, we'll leave Tommy Lay alone. Tommy Doyle. 
All right, we'll schedule that. Yeah, we'll get Drew Pickens to work on that. Below average youth facilities, basic youth recruitment, and excellent academy coaching. Well, that's good. Janelle Bennett is developing really well, but he's hit his max. We need to keep that in mind. Janelle Bennett's as good as he's going to get. So is Jack Tucker. It's probably time to move him on. Matty Longstaff is doing well, but got to keep it on him. Very good atmosphere, very good coach support. That's a first. Harrison Ashby is slipping a little bit. That's because he's playing and he's learning another position. Our backup goalkeeper is getting really good. All right. James, please stop this. It's like I want them at the end. Evidently, on corners. Tommy Doyle is really good at these. It makes no sense this thing puts a line here when it's just gonna replace the person you click on. That's just dumb. Drop a little save here. All right, looks like we got some time off for international duty. So that's good. Right now, the team's in pretty good shape. Um, check out our mentoring and make sure it's all good shape. Working on defense this week and tactics next week. So that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with this. I have no idea, but it's come off something. All right, I'm gonna have me a little seat here. Oh, my legs are still hurting from when I, uh, I worked on the landscape the other day out in the yard, obviously. Woo, that beat me up. Uh, here's your top 50 players in the world. None of our players are in it. Bad. Longstaff made team of the week with his two assists.
So I'm really excited. We've got a lot of really good sports games coming out here soon. We've got this game. Obviously, we're going to continue playing. Super Mega Baseball 4 was announced. I'm really excited about it. Um, I'll obviously be getting that when I see more information out on it. I'll be making a squad. So I'll have signups for that. Um, if you've not seen Super Mega Baseball, you need to... I've got like six seasons of playlist of that in my on my youtube channel and it's a blast i can call baseball way better than i can about this the preston north end coming up england has dominated ukraine in the uh, nations league I wonder what time the Kentucky Derby is tonight. They usually... Okay. 6.57 is post time. Good Lord. It gets later and later every year. Yeah, I'm nervous about it too, Mad Martin. I'm, I'm really hoping for the best. Not offering any enough of him. They're not offering enough. I'm really interested to see when we do signups how many people want to play on other teams this year. Because that seemed to be the thing is uh people enjoyed playing on other teams and being like the foiler. Ooh. I hate corporations as I wear a big GE logo on my uh, chest and Adidas and, you know, I'm sure there's Toyota or something on the back. Miles Laburn is a tight hamstring. He should be back soon. Yeah, EA really spent no time uh, putting their big logo right on top of everything. Let's see, international play. Let's see, Liam Cullen. He played 90 minutes and he did absolutely nothing. Murphy played 32. He didn't do much either. There's some really good players that are still on the free agency list. I just don't want to rock the boat right now. We've got really good team chemistry and everything's coming up Millhouse right now. We do have back to back games coming up here. Preston North End, 10th place, mid table. Then we got a team trying to stave off rele relegation already in Stoke City.
Greg FC has been touted as comfortable favorites. Yeah, every time they say that, we have some issues. Ooh, Bennett and Ashby starting to work well together. Let's get Drew Pickens on the bench. Here's Nashby has three of the things now. So he's learning the position. He's just learning it slow. But with this good uh, relationship with Bennett, if we can get Curtis <clears throat> and Cullen to be on page with each other, we'd be in good shape. Board and fans expect a win. Let's go. Let's give it to them. Then again, these are always our trap games. Brentford has hired a new head coach. Miles Laburn isn't really fit. Let's pull him and put Tommy Lay up there if we need him. All right. <clears throat> we are inconsistent all of a sudden. They're fair. Playing at Drake FC Stadium. We're still only charging 23 bucks a ticket. Ooh, look to gain confidence. I like to see that. All right. Steve Turnface Cooper is the head coach of the Preston North End. Hurst, Gomez, and Anjoran up front. Colson in Subaga. Carter, Malif, and Williams in the back line. McCann and O'Reilly in midfield. Owen Evans in. Robert Madley is the mad lad in charge of officiating day. It's 55 degrees, and it's a drizzle here in Tavistock. We're wearing the greens and blues. They're in their white and blues. 12,010 people in attendance here. They're playing with a bunch back too. They're playing with the formation I was thinking of teetering with next year. Give some encouragement to the lads out there. They've had more shots than we have on goal. I'm not a fan of that. Looks like Janelle Bennett has picked up an injury. I'll try to nurse him till halftime. We'll, we'll sub him at half. That's unfortunate. I was getting ready to say earlier, we've not had a lot of injuries this season. Free kick for us, forcing to take it, sends it in. Will Andy Pan puts it in! And we're gonna get one right before half. And that's Will Andy Pan's second header he's had in the past three games. And he is really coming to life lately. We will go into the locker room. We are up.
Now, Bennett, we'll bring in Ferrum for him. Give the youngster some time out there. I think Cullum's wore out. I may actually put Oko Flex in for him. And we'll run with that. Because I'll need Cole on and Bill in it for the next games coming up. Goal kick for us. Hamilton plays it up to Sam Curtis. Curtis up to Oko Flex. Flex. Loses the ball. Triple teamed. O'Reilly. Auto parts. Uh, heads back down the field. He'll get over to Hurst. Hurst up to Anjoran. Anjoran's in, and he's going to equalize the game here. 50th minute. Not what I wanted to see. Not what I wanted to see at all. I refill my water up here. We're hydrating today, everybody. Lots of hydration. Let's go positive. We're supposed to win this game. I'm going to demand more out of the team. Will Andy Pan has picked up another yellow. We're going to go deep here. Curtis will cut that off. Amy coming up to Hamilton. Hamilton to Andy Pan. Forson. Back to Will. Doyle, Hamilton. Good ball moving around. Let's see if we can build something out of this. Murphy up to Oko Flex. Flex back to Murphy. Doyle, Curtis, back to Murphy. We're slowly moving it up. He'll hit Forson. They've widened it out. Here comes Watts, and Watts puts it in. Chris Watts, who has some Premier League talent teams coming after him, puts another one in. Forson, what a pass. Split the defense. Oh, my God, he nutmegged the keeper. Chris Watts, you stud. We're going to have to really uh, probably give him a new contract and uh, boost up his uh, buyout. Seventy fourth minute. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to bring in Pickens. Mingalvian. Give a little bit of praise. Usually every time I give praise, though, the other team scores. 85th minute. Mm. Chris Watts. Oh, no, he's hurt his foot. Oh, no, that could be devastating. Here, I just bragged about him. We'll bring Tommy Lay in. Oil. Can we get another one here? Up to Oko Flex. Oko Flex down the right wing. Oko Flex looking to bring it back. Pickens. Pickens to Doyle. Doyle to Forson. Oh, ho, ho. I would love for Forson to get a goal. Looks like we'll get a corner. Tommy Doyle. They wanted The, the assistant coaches wanted him taking corners. Let's see how he does. Swings it in. Let's head it out. We'll reset and do it on the other side. 89th minute. Tommy Doyle is exhausted, but uh, we literally got like five minutes left. About two minutes left. Five minutes of extra time. That's it. We'll take the W. Woo. Now we got to worry about, we picked up a couple injuries that game. So we need to see if they're anything serious or if they're good. <clears throat> good Lord. That's my cousin. Uh, achievement unlocked goal rush. Your team scored a 20 consecutive competitive matches. And we are second place. Goal difference puts us ahead of Watford. Everton is starting to widen the gap.
two to three weeks. We're going to have to go without Chris Watts. I was worried about that. Janelle Bennett's, it's not that big. So. Tommy Lay has now made 100 league appearances for Drake FC. What does that mean? He's a special human being. Uh, you've shown a little let up, and that's fantastic. It's nice to be able to think we're no longer involved in a relegation battle. Uh, it wasn't a really special goal by Chris Watts. It's brilliant. Your team ranks among the best at training. Uh, I think any head coach is worth their salt. He's making every effort to make sure they enjoy plenty of possession. Are we likely to see more Harrison Ashby playing left wing back? Yes. Force an amazing job today. All right, so who's going to be our starting striker? Maybe move Colin up there and Oko Flex out here on the side. Better uh, text my cousin back who just called. Okay. Greg MC are facing something of a selection drama with the news that one of their key players, striker Chris Watts, is set for a spell on the sidelines due to a damaged foot. I just don't like the way that that is. I hope that like the way they say damaged foot is not like something long term. We need to look at some of these youngsters as a replacement for a boy. Do 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 Rooney fired by Huddersfield. Wayne Rooney, a source close to the team, revealed that Huddersfield players had lost confidence in their head coach, effectively making Rooney's position untenable. Manchester United icon Wayne Mark Rooney. I wonder who they'll go after. Leaderless, Stoke City or slight underdogs and what should be proved to be a tightly confessed affair. I know we're going to have to uh, rotate this squad even more, so we'll see what's going on. We have three teams here at the bottom of the table. So going into December, we should be trying to buffer our... Uh, Resume. All right, everybody thinks we're going to sneak a win. Force and made team of the week. Right, Alex Murphy is wore out. Um, 
Harrison Ashby's got four things over there on his side now. So he's really learning that position really well. Their woeful condition were inconsistent. All right, Gareth Owen, uh, he's their stand-in coach. So you got Terrans and Tezgal up front. Kilkenny and Cholaba midfield. Sutton, Dees, Wall, Congolo. Brown in the back. Itibo is a defensive midfielder and Andre Gomez. Tony Harrington is the official today. It's 50 degrees. It's raining and gusty. They're really stacked back here. Good Lord. That's going to be hard to penetrate. He said, penetrate. <laughs> well, let's give some encouragement to the lads. 24 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. We've had five shots to their one, though, but nothing to show for it right now. Janelle Bennett's just going to make it to halftime, it looks like. I'm gonna go balanced, slow us down just a tad. We're just, we're running with the candle burning at both ends and it's not helping. Halftime, we're playing pretty stagnant. Uh, Janelle Bennett's just not gonna make it. So let's bring in Barum. And then, Everybody else is playing halfway decent. Sam Curtis isn't. I'll bring in the youngster Drew Pickens. We'll let him have a shot at it. Get everybody motivated up. I'm not happy with their performance. Let's see if they can come out here and make a difference in the second half. <clears throat> Free kick for them. They launch it in. The head is wide right. <clears throat> They brought in Lee Dong. Sixty-five minutes in. We're just come on, guys. I'm gonna demand more. All right, we're we're just wore out in the midfield. Let's bring in Haller. Poland's wore out. I'm gonna bring in. That's it. Moving some people around on their defense. We're out of subs, so what we have out there is what we have out there. Let's try to be more direct. Try to go over top of them. We've got we've got Miles Laburn up there. How in the world did Miles Laburn get a yellow card? We've got one, two, three, four, five yellow cards today. Corner kick for us, Will. Oh, I thought we were gonna get one there. The, oh, he said he was offside? It looked like they pushed us down. So we had a chance to win it late. We're in extra time now. 
And we're going to walk out of this one with a draw. I don't know if I agree with that. I feel like the ref was very, very against us. Five yellow cards to us. None to Stoke. Yeah, I want to see the ref's rating. Hit a five six. Yeah, he screwed us that game. That's the first game we've not scored in what, 20 games. So without Chris Watts, we, uh, we really hurt ourselves. And the official didn't help. Yes, yes. We'll play Amari Miller this next game. Oh, I believe him on the bench. All right, Burnley coming up. They're mid-table, and then we got Huddersfield Town. And then I think the big match against Everton is uh, sneaking up on us. They're the number one team in the tier right now. What do I want to do for dinner tonight, everybody? I had tacos last night at that thing I went to. They had like a taco bar. Greg FC's home advantage gives us the edge. Burgers on the grill sounds good. I don't have a grill. I need to buy one. Oh no, Mingalvio's been injured. Please don't be bad. Okay, just a tight calf. He'll be out for this game though. I'll do a rotated squad for the Huddersfield Town and then we'll take on Everton with our main squad. Draw, draw, sneak a win. Okay. We'll see if we can sneak a win here. All right, let's see how this goes. Everybody's motivated, inspired. So David Adams, he's got Vignato, Twine, Amorgabe, and Marquinhos. 
That's a dangerous person out there in the wing. Uh, Masingo, Brownhill, Burlett, Cross, McNally, Hama, and Adrijanet, Adrijanet, Murich in goal. Jeff Eltringham, let's hope he does better than the last guy, is the official today. We are at home. It is strong winds and a shower, 53 degrees. Corner for them. Hama throws it in. Jamie coming comes up and grabs it. Ten minutes in. Nil nil still. We've not had a shot on goal in ten minutes. Not a fan of that. Mari Miller back to Doyle. Doyle to Longstaff. Longstaff out to Harris Nashby. He's got lots of room. He finds Bennett. Bennett in the colon. And Colin puts it in. One nil Drakes. Our first shot's a good one. And it's in. I think he hit it off the pop, the crossbar. Yeah. No, it was off the side. Uh, it was off the, the, just the bar. I thought it went off the crossbar and bounced down, but no. And Miller over there was offside. We didn't play it to him. We'll take it. Ten minutes in. Marquinhos here. Ignato, Burlett down the wing, working it toward the box, looking to cross. Brownhill, Hammer takes a shot, ooh, over the crossbar. It's goal kick to us. Tough match so far. Throw in for us. India Pan to Maddie Longstaff. India Pan back to Maddie Longstaff over to Tommy Doyle. Oh my God. Everybody's trying to call me. I'll have to take a break after this game. See what everybody's calling me for. Will India Pan. Doyle over the top to Harrison Ashby. Matty Longstaff. He's got Cullen again. Cullen! And Murich will make the save on that one. Will India Pan. Miller. Curtis. Tried to hit Cullen. Doesn't work out. Murphy. Back the way, they got Colin again this time. Colin puts it in! Two nil here in the 19th minute. Liam Colin already on a brace. It was tennis match there for a minute. He looked way offside to me. But we'll take it. Colin doing well up there in that forward position. Which he was there before. I mean, you know, not having Chris Watts isn't that bad. Amari Miller, here's Janelle Bennett. Janelle Bennett's in and he'll put it to the moon. Uh, give them some praise. They're doing okay right now. Colin on an 8-4, Bennett on a 7-6. Defense, some sevens back there as well. 41st minute. Free kick for them in a very precarious situation. Twine to take it. The wall is there, coming. He will make the save. It looked like he fell into the net, but I know that could just be the, uh, the game engine or the match engine. We'll reverse it over, crosses it over to Harrison Ashby. Ashby. Sends it up to Janelle Bennett. Janelle Bennett looking. We add one more. There's Miller. Oh, and Miller puts it in. What a cross by Janelle Bennett. And it goes over everybody. It was like slow motion. And Miller just casually doinks it into the goal. And Amari Miller gets on the board. 3-0 Drakes. They smell blood in the water. Here's Cullen. Oh, I thought he was going to get his hat trick in the first half. Boyle over the top. Here's Bennett again. Bennett in. Cullen. And he does. 
Liam Cullen with a first half hat trick for Neil Drake's lead. Oh my Lord. Liam Cullen making the best starting here on a 9-6. See, that referee didn't let us score last game, so we've had to come back this game. It's the wind. The wind is blowing our shots in is what it is. Also, their keeper has a 5-8. Uh-oh, we got two injuries that just popped up. I'm not a fan of that. What is with my... Oh, okay, there we go. Bring in Jack Tucker. Bear them back in there. Trilling off in Vignato, and the injured Vignato gets a goal, so it does put Burnley on the board. No clean sheet today in the 63rd minute. I'm sure the team is getting a little complacent out there. It went off of uh, Pollock. <sighs> Let's get Ashby out there and then Doyle is wore out. I'll bring Miles Laburn in. It's probably going to make um, Liam Cullen mad, but maybe he won't be. We'll pull the tempo down, tempo down a little bit. Free kick for us. Andy Pan sends it forward. Laburn couldn't move it. Gonna try to go deep. We're back there. Maddie Pollock. Amy coming in. Will Andy a pan. Tommy Lay. Sends it up to Curtis. Back to Murphy. Tommy Lay. Miller. Good ball movement here. Back to Pollock. Patient building here by the Drakes. Lay sends it up to Miles Laburn. He'll send it in. And here's Miller again. And Miller, it's off the post. Oh my lord. It's 80th minute. Farron with a shot does not go in. How's Laburn? Tommy Lay, Farum out here on the side. Farum, Tucker, over everything. 80th minute. Ten minutes of game left. We're gonna get the win, but let's just try to get it without getting any injuries or anything like that. Four minutes of extra time. Definitely going to be a W for the Drakes. We'll take that. <laughs> Big game. Everybody's happy. 
Holy moly, indeed. That puts us three points in the second place, three points behind Everton.